good morning children this is unit number four so electromagnet is the effect uh, we are discussing in this class and today we will start with example 4.6 uh, in a question Kurdurgana, if the current I flowing in the straight conducting wire as shown in the figure, figure Kurdurga, decreases, find out the direction of induced current in the metallic square loop placed near it. Okay. So near to uh, conductor la conductor near to be square order, metallic square order loop placed in the direction of induced current. This is question and see question. Diagram. This is the diagram for uh, question. So metallic uh, is given, so current current wire is placed and direction is given from down to upward direction. And here we can uh, explain the answer for this. So to find the direction of induced current, we can use the statement from Fleming's right hand rule. So to find the induced current, we can use one more law also. So what is that law? Lenz law. Okay, so here we are using the Fleming's uh, right hand rule. So, as per Fleming's right hand rule, the magnetic field in the straight conductor is acting into the plane. It is acting into the plane and it decreases the magnetic flux. So, it, when it is acting here perpendicularly into the plane, the magnetic flux is decreases here. So, the decreasing the flux is opposing the current induced in that same direction of the magnetic field of wire. So again when we are using right hand rule, this is uh, acting inward magnetic field, then direction will be opposite, we know it explains Lenz law too and here the direction of current is induced current in this loop is clockwise just its opposite so when the current is acting into the sheet means it is clockwise it is acting outward means it is acting as anti clockwise direction so that is the answer here and next uh, there is an activity so in this activity it is demonstration the lens law so for that we are taking the narrow copper pipe and it having the button it's a strongly magnetized button magnet which we are using here keep uh, the copper pipe vertical and drop the magnet into the pipe so the magnet is passing into the pipe it is acting perpendicularly so we are listening the motion here so when the magnet is moving from top to bottom the magnet has become slower than its free fall so when we are throwing when we are allowing to fall down and the time in the speed run the show other way to kill over most slows down I check so it explains this copper pipe is trying to reduce the speed trying to trying to reduce the original speed of our original motion of the moving magnet so this is the demonstration so what is let's law? we are recalling here so this law was explained by scientist lens what he explained is the induced current produced in any conductor always oppose the source which is used to produce that induced current that is the concept okay so that same only here we are uh, understanding from this activity so after activity we are uh, going to discuss about example 4.7 so what is the question we we'll listen here okay so the magnetic flux passes perpendicular to the plane of the circuit perpendicular to the plane of the circuit and is directed into the paper it is acting how directly into the paper if the magnetic flux varies with respect to time as per the following radiation sorry relation 5b is equal to 2t cube plus 3t square plus 80 plus 5 milli weber so we are using milli weber what is the magnitude of the induced emf in the loop when t is equal to 3 second this is the question then they are asking find the direction current through the circuit so you have to find out what direction of the current through the circuit this is question and diagram is given 
the magnetic field is acting uh, as directed into the paper it is acting into the paper then here phi b value is given so idhila nama emf oda formula use pandrom epsilon is equal to d phi b divided by dt if number of turns are there d n phi b divided by dt so this is the formula to find out the induced emf in the circuit okay this is a basic formula you have to thorough it and then we are substituting the phi b value so phi b which is given in question so we are substituting the phi b value in this so when we are substituting the phi b 2t cube plus 3t square plus 18 plus 5 into 10 power minus 3 so what is 10 power minus 3 it is milli then we are using the differentiation idu nam 11th le padichirukom physics second unit la also you may study in your math subject so we are differentiating this appo inga enna aagum appadina 2t cube endrathu so we know once again i am recalling the formula x power n na nam differentiate pannom appadina the formula will become as n x power n minus 1 this is the formula seriya idu nam 11th le padichirukom adhe da inga seiyrom so ungalku ellarku easy a puriyum nenikiren so 2t cube is the so cube da inga n act agudhu so n will come front already 2 kuduthiruka so 3 into 2 enna agum 6 aayirum la 6 then t power inga x in the place la edhu irukna t irukku with respect to the time da we are differentiating here so this t power n minus 1 abindra po n enna va irukku 3 3 minus 1 is 2 it will become t square plus 6t plus 8 ஸோ இங்கே லாஸ்ட்ல எயிட் டீல பாருங்க ஃபார் ஒன் இருக்கா அப்போ எயிட் மட்டும் வரும் அப்போ ஃபைவ் என்னாச்சு ஃபைவ் வில் பிகம் ஜீரோ பிகாஸ் இட் இஸ் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் தென் வீ கேன் ரைட் சிக்ஸ் டி ஸ்கொயர் ப்ளஸ் சிக்ஸ் டி ப்ளஸ் எயிட் இன்டர் நைன்டி ஃபோர் மைனஸ் த்ரீ திஸ் இஸ் த ஆன்சர் வி காட் கியர் தென் அவன் கொஸ்டின் என்ன கேட்டிருக்கா வி ஹாவ் டு ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் அட் த்ரீ செகண்ட் அப்போ நம்ம இப்போ ஃபைன் பண்ண ஃபார்முலாவில் வி ஹாவ் டு சப்ஸ்டியூட் த டைம் ஆஸ் த்ரீ செகண்ட் then we can write here epsilon is equal to 6 into 3 square that is 6 into 9 plus 6 into 3 plus 8 into the power minus 3 then it will become 80 into the power minus 3 volt so what is 10 power minus 3 milli 80 milli volt this is the answer at t is equal to 3 second and the next question next question i'm answer pandrom uh, So, what is the question? Find out the direction of current through the circuit. So, in the magnetic flux length with the loop is increases when the time passes. So, at the time passes, the magnetic flux length with the loop is increases. As per Lenz rule, the direction of the induced current always opposed to the flux, which is uh, the source which is used to increase. So, the induced current flows in such a way, produce a magnetic field opposite to the given flux. So the magnetic field is how it acts? Perpendicularly outward. So then induced current flows in this is anti-clockwise. So last question is it is acting inward. Magnetic flux acts inward. Then the direction of uh, induced current in this metal is clockwise. If it is acting inward, it is acting outward. Then we can write the direction of this induced current is in anti-clockwise direction. Okay, this is the answer we are getting here. have you understood children the important uh, sum code next is uh, motional emf from lorentz force next is motional emf uh, from lorentz force idu or detail uh, question so nalla listen panikeenga so here we'll uh, use the important uh, derivation so mm -hmm. important e equation we'll derive panna poro and uh, as per figure which is given here say we having the length of the conductor l namely it is uh, called as ab it is placed in a uniform magnetic field it is placed in uniform magnetic field and say that conductor is moving right side with the velocity v okay so what is the length of the conductor it is l its name is ab it is placed in uniform magnetic field this magnetic field is acting perpendicularly inward direction so cross abin karnale it is acting perpendicularly inward direction okay so then we are applying here now the length of the rod is 
moving towards right already na sonna the length of the rod is moving towards right so length of the rod move agumbode okay the length of the rod move agumbode adile iruka electrons um also moving with the same velocity which is equal to equal to velocity of rod movement then we can apply the lorentz force here so lorentz force am already padichirukom fb is equal to q of v vector cross b vector or b q v sin theta yaha poi iruka yes and the formula we are using for this electron edhuk nam apply pandrom so here conductor is moving nalla note pannikeenga in the diagram la in the question iruka diagram la conductor move aagudhu that conductor is placed in a uniform magnetic field so conductor move aagumbodhu கண்டக்டில் இருக்க ஃப்ரீ எலக்ட்ரான்ஸும் மூவ் ஆகுது இன் த ஸ்பீட் ஆஃப் கண்டக்டர் வெலாசிட்டி சரியா அண்ட் ஆஸ் அ ரிசல்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் மூமெண்ட் சம் மேக்னட்டிக் லாரன்ஸ் ஃபோர்ஸ் இஸ் ப்ரொடியூஸ்டு தார் தட் இஸ் வி நோ எஃப் பி இஸ்க்குள்ள நம்ம எப்படி கொடுத்தோம் க்யூ ஆஃப் வி கிராஸ் பி தான் நம்ம ஃபார்முலா யூஸ் பண்ணோம் இங்கே இட் இஸ் ஃபார் எலக்ட்ரான் தென் சேம் ஃபார்முலா இஸ் டேக்னஸ் மைனஸ் இ ஆஃப் வி வெக்டர் கிராஸ் பி வெக்டர் ஒய் மைனஸ் கியா ஏன் நம்ம மைனஸ் இங்கே யூஸ் பண்ணுறோம் அப்படின்னா this minus is it's indicate the charge of the electron so it results gives the magnetic lorentz force in the formula we already uh, discuss panirukom so the action of the lorentz force is to accumulate the free electrons at the end so in the lorentz force enna panudha it accumulates the free electrons at the end and this uh, magnetic lorentz force attracts the free electrons at the end of a so all the free electrons are moving at the end of a so because of accumulation of free electrons produced some potential difference across the rod and it establishes some electric field so there is a potential difference that should be a electric field so electric field is established and that value is capital e vector and this potential difference acts this electric field is acting along the direction of ba and due to the electric field the coulomb force starts acting on the free electrons along ab and it is given by some coulomb force is also acting here so coulomb force formula we know in first unit we discussed f is equal to qe and here we are explaining exclusively for electron then this force is equal to minus e into capital e this is what this is coulomb force so two force so far we decided discussed one is magnetic lorentz force this is movement of the Uh, movement due to the free electrons and next is all the electrons are accumulated at the particular end of this conductor and it results coulomb force coulomb force theory la yes first unit la we padichirukom and the magnitude of electric field keeps on increasing until the accumulation of the electron which is moving towards a so when more electrons are coming towards a there is more electric field so this increasing electric field will become constant when there is no electron are available to move towards the end a so we can say at the equilibrium the magnetic lorentz force and coulomb's law coulomb's force both should be equal so if are they equal are the magnetic lorentz force and coulomb force both are equal at equilibrium then if it is equilibrium we can write the formula f mod fb vector is equal to mod fe vector okay this is answer for what these two are equal in the rendu equal a irukke magnetic lorentz force so then the force which is produced from the coulomb's law okay then we are writing the formula here we are substituting to equate these two equations we can write mod of minus e v vector cross b vector already nam eludhirukom from equation 4.4 that is equal to mod of minus e vector this is from equation 4.5 these two are equated then we are expanding this equation that is b e v sin theta okay so then we are writing the equation left hand side is b e v sin theta that is equal to what is right hand side capital e okay so comparing both the sides e and e will get cancel e and e cancel achana rest we can write here as vb sin 90 degree is equal to e because here the angle is 90 degree then we can write vb sin 90 degree that is equal to capital e and sin 90 is 1 then we can write the equation vb is equal to capital e okay 
and next we are uh, considering the potential difference between the two ends of the rod so when we are considering the potential difference between the two ends of the rod then we can write v is equal to capital e into l in the formula nam edhula use pannirukom unit number 2 la use pannirukom okay so potential difference is is equal to e into l so when length is constant means the potential difference is directly proportional to e electric field okay and if the electric field is constant abindrapo the potential difference will change according with the length idu nam second hand la paathirukom then here we are substituting so v is equal to el nam second into the formula use panirukom in this u we are sub sorry e we are substituting from this equation number 4.6 then this equation we are getting capital v is equal to v b into l okay and here the lorentz force of the free electrons is responsible to maintain this potential difference so in the potential difference they are maintain pandrana with the help of lorentz force then we can write this v can be written as here the potential difference is produced due to the lorentz force then we can say it produces an emf that equation can be written as epsilon blv so the same equation is written as blv here this is equation number 4.7 and as the emf produced in this uh, due to the movement of the rod so if there is no movement of the rod there is no production of emf so we can say this emf is produced due to the movement of the rod then we can say this is called as motional emf so what is this form this is called as motional emf so if the ends of a and b are connected by an external circuit means these two ends are connected by the external circuit means the total resistance can be written here from the ohm's law so what is ohm's law v is equal to ir then what is i i is equal to v divided by r okay and here v is taken as produced emf because of movement of the rod then v can be substituted here as epsilon so then here we are writing the same formula yes i is equal to epsilon divided by capital r so what is the epsilon we got from this uh, derivation that is equation 4.7 is blv then we can write blv divided by capital r okay and this current value which is flowing in this conductor this is called as induced current and the direction of the this induced current can be found with the help of right hand thumb okay the direction of the current which is produced in this can be produced with the help of what right hand thumb rule so using that rule we can apply here to find the direction of this conductor so from this derivation in this explanation we found it so uh, we will uh, see that uh, we will discuss that briefly in uniform magnetic field the rod is moving when the rod is moving the free electrons also moving so it produces the electric field and so it is moving so because of the magnetic lorentz force some force uh, is created so all the electrons are moving towards the edge a it produces the electric field it produces the potential difference there so when the electrons are moving the potential difference or electric field are increases it's become uh, mag uh, equilibrium it will become equal so when it will become equal when the production of electric field are increases or decreases or we can say when it comes constant so we are equating that both the equations then we are substituting the both the previous formulas so magnetic lorentz force formula already padichirukku padichirukku thana then we are substituting this last unit la padichirukku we are substituting in this and coulomb's law pathana first unit la padichirukku then one more formula for potential from the unit number 2 we used the formula v is equal to e m நம்ம சப்ஸ்டிட்யூஷன் பண்ணி தென் வி ஃபவுண்ட் எப்சிலான்ஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு BLV அட் லாஸ்ட் வி காட் தி கரண்ட் வேல்யூ I is equal to BLV divided by R ஓகே அண்ட் தி டைரக்ஷன் ஆஃப் தி கரண்ட் கேன் வி கேன் ஃபைண்ட் வித் தி ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் ரைட் ஹேண்ட் தம் ரூல் ஓகே ஹே வி அண்டர்ஸ்டட் चिल्ड्रन இதுதான் இந்த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் क्वेश्चन आंसर இது ரொம்ப இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபுல்லா தரவு பண்ணி வச்சீங்க ஓகே அண்ட் தி चिल्ड्रन யு மார்க் ஹோம்வொர்க் ஹோம்வொர்க் क्वेश्चन आंसर ஃபார் டுடேஸ் கிளாஸ் फ्रॉम ஹியர் டு அப் டு ஹியர் இன்க்ளூடிங் திஸ் ஃபிகர் figure 4.9 also included so explain about motional emf from lorentz force here the motional emf have been sold wrong abdi na because conductor is moving the produced lorentz force is also called as it is due to the motional conductor 
so that EMF is called as motion EMF here. And suppose in the conductor movement stop IRHA rest layer, there is no production of electric current in this. There is no production of Lorentz force. Lorentz force is the VHS. The charge should be moved. In the conductor charge, there are free electrons. So, conductor move on, free electrons will send move on. Okay. So, this is the first homework part. Then, and the answer, including diagram, and the answer is photocopy. Edit the end of personal watch number. Image are simply. Okay. Thank you, children.